All right, we're alive, pal. <laughs> hey, gang, Andy here. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a uh, little something different, do kind of a vlog, like a live vlog, I guess. So uh, if you guys don't catch this um, while I'm streaming, it's okay. Um, just enjoy the post stream. That's kind of the point of all this, but name it. <coughs> this is going to be kind of a little bit of a rambly vlog because... Uh, I'm sick, and my mind is just kind of uh, all over the place right now. So I just wanted to put something together to uh, put out there, because you know I ain't got the, you know, the time or the energy to really sit down and edit it, edit like a proper vlog. So uh, it's all good. Because if you couldn't tell from the sound of my voice, I'm uh, a little sick today. Uh, still got to go to work because, you know, fucking America, right? <laughs> you know, healthcare system. What's that? Hey Becky. Um, so in any event, guys, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of shoot the shit a little bit and uh, just kind of talk about um, where I've been, what's going on, things like that. Um, probably get into it a little bit more in like a February 2018 update video. But I just wanted to put something up here live, um, just to talk to y'all for a little bit. Um, so. As you guys know, I've been working for uh, a lot of good people, putting some uh, good content together. That's one of the main reasons why I haven't been making my own stuff for a while. Um, so I've been working for uh, from a good old buddy, Tikio Sam. I've been working for Eric Sir Six. In fact, one of my videos that I put together for him was released this morning, so be sure to check that out. It's the, uh, the Burger Joe's Juicy Lucy uh, video. Uh, should be like his most recent video, at least at the time of this recording, so <laughs> or this live stream, whatever. Um, really proud how that turned out. Really loving the uh, the positive response in the comments. Uh, no, I ain't, I ain't got a PS4. Sorry, DPG. Um, PC Master Race. Woo! <laughs> so that's not to discredit the console. The consoles. It's just. Uh, you know, I ain't got time for that shit, so, you know. But any event, guys, um, i just been feeling, uh, you know, not so good. Not just because I'm sick, because friggin' flu season. Uh, which, you know, even then, you know, it's not, uh, it's not as bad as what I've seen others practically friggin' dying, you know, from all this flu sickness. Um, it's just like a stuffy nose, some sneezing, coughing, you know. The usual uh, February, March flu season sort of shtick that we all go through, um, at least in the States anyway. Uh, so, yeah man, lately I've just been feeling uh, just really burnt out, as the title of this vlog says, um, just with working, both doing my freelance stuff as well as, uh, you know, doing uh, my real life job elsewhere. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's getting harder and harder for me to sit down and work on videos and put out some good stuff for you guys. You know, it's just kind of in like a, I guess you'd call it like an apathetic mood. Um, you know, I'm not really sad. I'm not angry. You know, I'm not even depressed. Or at least I don't feel that way. I just, just completely feel nothing. Pretty much, you know, it's just a, <laughs> you know. Oh, you're up to 445. Congrats. That's good. Um, but in any event, um, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, doing this for as long as I have. You know, even that hasn't really been, like, super long. But, you know, at the pace I've been going, basically, you know, I'm running the risk of burnout and, uh, you know, I started doing little things to kind of help slow myself down a little bit. Um, you know, obviously waking up earlier in the morning so I can be more productive. That's definitely helped my overall mental state. Um, eating fruit in the morning, that's really helped me out tremendously, in fact. Um, there were some weeks where I wouldn't do that just because I wouldn't, either wouldn't have the money or I'd forget or I wouldn't want to go outside because it's friggin' you know, all the snow and stuff. I don't want to 
risk crashing into somebody or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm doing a lot of things. Um, take care of myself and whatnot. So, you know, <laughs> but, you know, with, with doing all this work as a, you know, freelance video editor where you get this, this syndrome and, uh, I, I read an article about it called, uh, they called it you should be working syndrome because, you know, with freelance or any kind of like online based job, you know, the whole fact is, you know, you can be working at any moment, at any time, for any amount of hours, you know, you're never really truly off the clock. Um, you get into this this habit of, you know, the syndrome of you should be working. You know, so any any time I kind of sit down on the couch, you know, watching some stuff on Crunchyroll or, you know, watching some YouTube. Like right now I'm actually re-watching some old uh, Tokyo Kuni Life in Tokyo. Uh, just kind of remembering the good old days. Um... So anytime I, you know, catch myself doing that in video games, Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, um, I always catch myself doing that and just be like, yeah, you should be working, you know, if you got time to sit down and watch some anime or whatever, play some video games, you know, that's time that could be spent either streaming yourself, you know, playing those video games or uh, working on a project for Sam or Eric or whoever else I'm working for, uh, Radley, you know. So, you know, eventually it's just getting to the point where, you know, I'm reaching, reaching my, uh, my limits with, with doing that stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, who don't really understand the whole, uh, freelance, you know, how freelance works, you know, the whole, you should be working 24 seven unless you're sleeping or eating or something like that, um, you know, they think, oh, poor you, you know, there's factory workers in Uganda working, you know, 24-hour shifts. You know, what about the brave men and women overseas? And, you know, I was one of those brave men overseas, so I know how it is. So, you know, it's nothing quite like to that extent, especially because, you know, not because the workload is easier. I mean, it is on my side. Um but because I'm definitely taking care of myself a lot better now than I was back then, because Jesus Christ, I, <laughs> you know, rode myself hard and put myself away wet, basically. Um, and that resulted in a lot of shit going wrong, you know, a lot of weight gain and a lot of shit going wrong upstairs, and, you know, it's something I gotta deal with, you know. And, uh, you know, just starting to change up the diet a little bit, and, you know, I know, I know, everybody's like, oh, you should be exercising, you know, get on, lift some weights, fatty, but, you know, ugh, again, rambly, but, uh, you know, the point being is that, uh, you know, I've just been feeling really burnt out with life in general, um, just, you know, it's getting harder and harder for me to sit down and you know, put together videos, podcasts, whatever else I'm doing. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been taking a little bit of extra time away from work, you know, again, with the idea of focusing more on my freelancing stuff. But, you know, I've also been focusing a little bit more on just staying away from work. You know, it's kind of the you know, re trying to reestablish a better uh, work-life balance. And I know if some of my clients are listening to this, they may not want to hear that, you know, because they want me to be working all the time. Um, some of them do, anyway. Not all, but, you know. Um, so it just kind of is what it is right now, basically. Um, and I just, I just got to take care of me, man, so... Um, I'll still continue to make videos and stuff for him, but, uh, you know, just gotta learn to keep a good pace and not try to burn myself out as much and, you know, try to go outside and do something fun, but it's kind of hard to do that with, like, all the snow outside and there's not really a whole lot of stuff to do out here in Kalamazoo, you know, unless you got, like, a lot of money and want to go out drinking and stuff, but, you know, it's basically... 
Yeah, it's, it's a college town, you know? It's just a... You know, if you're not in college or anything like that, you know, you basically work in the factories and, you know, that's all your life is, man. And it's just, you know, fucking sad. You know, I think if... Uh, I think if I were a little bit younger and, you know, the proper traditional college age, quote unquote, um, I'd probably have a much better time out here. But, you know, now I'm in my 30s, you know, I don't really want to go out drinking and stuff as much because it's, you know, it's a little bit harder to do in America versus uh, back in Japan. I mean, maybe certain parts of America like New York where you got like the subway line and shit like that, but... You know, out here in America, everything's, like, so far away from everything, and it's just, you know, such a pain in the ass to get from one point to another, because you got to worry about traffic, and fucking Michigan drivers don't know how to drive, and it's just, you know, fucking stressful, and all that kind of shit. Whereas with Japan, as long as I can get to a train station, you know, I could navigate my way around it, you know, even drunk. <laughs> Done it before, and I can do it again. Um, but, you know can't really do that out here you know because the i mean they do have a metro system out here but it's just it's not it's not nearly as effective you know like you know i'd hear people you know stories of a lot of people i work with take the bus and stuff like that and it's just you know they gotta leave like you know four or five hours before their shift so they can, you know, hit the bus at the right time. So, you know, they can come to work, like, maybe five or ten minutes early. And I'm like, <clears throat> fuck that, man. You know, I ain't got time for that shit. You know, thankfully I got a car, so I can just leave whenever, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, just fuck that, man. You know? <laughs> you know, even in Japan, <clears throat> I mean, unless you lived, like, way out in the fucking boonies, you know, out in the, uh, the Anaka part of Japan, and your commute would be super long, um, may only be, like, an hour or two, and, you know, the train would get there right on time and stuff like that, and, you know, it's just, ugh, just one of them things, it's just, I, I feel like I don't really have, you know, a reason to be here in America, much less fucking Michigan, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of reasons why I'm going to be moving back to Ohio, uh, again, sorry, I'm sick, so I sound like shit, um, <clears throat> fuck me, so, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm going to be moving back to Ohio soon, um, just, you know, stay with the folks for a little bit so I can find my own place, get a job lined up and everything, uh, just go through a temp agency to give me some kind of work, you know, stuff like that. Um, that way I can be a little closer to them while I start building myself back up again. Um, and, you know, I can build the, the freelance gigs and stuff to a point to where, you know, A, I'm not overworking myself, and B, I'm actually able to earn you know, a substantial amount of money enough to at least fucking live comfortably. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not asking for the world here. I'm not asking, you know, to make several thousand dollars a month and, you know, live pretty high on the hog out here. Because, like, you know, I live in the Midwest, you know. <laughs> the cost of living is pretty low out here comparatively to, like, the bigger cities and stuff, so... You know, you don't need to, you don't really need to make a whole lot of money to, you know, live comfortably out here. Um, but I just want to make a, yeah, excuse me, make a, you know, good amount of money doing what I love to do without fucking killing myself doing it. Um, and, uh, you know, the, one of the advantages of working online, doing the freelance stuff is that you can do it anywhere. So, you know, the goal is to be able to, you know, make enough money to live off of on a consistent basis and then, you know, doing it full time and stuff and also to be able to do more traveling. I think that's going to be uh, a big part of my life once, you know, we get the freelance gigs and stuff, you know, where they need to be so that way I can do more traveling because I think that's one of the reasons why I just feel so... <clears throat> Well, I feel so, like, depressed and, you know, shackled in a way. 
is that you know I, I can't you know I don't really have the money to go anywhere and especially around here you know there's not really a whole lot of stuff to do to be honest we can go into the big city and spend a lot of money but you know at the end of the day it's just gonna be kind of eh, you know and that could just be me because you know I've been to some of the biggest cities in the world I mean Tokyo especially you know but you know Tokyo aside you know I was in San Diego Chicago you know all these other big cities and stuff and uh, you know going up to Grand Rapids for a weekend isn't gonna impress me all that much just saying um, so yeah I definitely think you know that's that's gonna be the goal uh, once we start getting freelance gigs uh, paying what they should be paying me um, <laughs> and that's not to, to talk disparagingly about my current clientele um, it's just you know it is what it is but uh, once that starts happening uh, then I can uh, start booking flights or you know get an RV or something like that and travel around America I think it'd be kind of cool to do like a little American road trip because like you know I lived in this good you know lived in the country for you know the majority of my life and uh, haven't really seen a whole lot of it you know only seen a couple states and stuff even while I was in the Navy you know, there's freaking 50 of them, and I've only seen, like, maybe a handful, like, maybe about 10 or less, um, so, just kind of, one of those things I'm thinking about, but, you know, most importantly, aside from, you know, the going around America tour of, of sorts, um, I want to go back to Japan, you know, I know everybody's been asking me, you know, hey, Andy son, when do you come back to Japan, Andy, you should really come back to Japan, you know, I know you hate it in America, just come back to Japan, well, you know, it's not that easy, guys. You know, it's not an easy process for me to get back to Japan, you know. <clears throat> even if it was through school, like, even if I got... Because, like, the original plan for me to come back was through uh, was through Temple, going to school out in Temple University. But, you know, with the freelance gigs and stuff taking off, um, I don't want to run the risk of, you know, trying to save up all this money for plane tickets and... All the other stuff that I need to come out to Japan and stuff before the GI Bill starts kicking back in. And, uh, you know, I gotta focus more on the freelancing stuff. And, you know, it's it's just a, it's a very delicate balance, you know. Because, like, I want to build up the freelance thing for it to be, like, you know, something that I can work towards. You know, I don't want to you know, go to college and hope for the best of, you know, getting that sweet job right out of college, you know, being a entry-level paper pusher, you know, I want to go out there and just kind of make my own d destiny, you know, carve my own path, um, <clears throat> and with, like, doing the freelancing stuff, I feel it's, you know, helped me build up the skills that I need to do it proper, and, you know, also make some money on the side, and, uh, once I'm able to do it full time, then you know, I can just take it from there and you know adjust my rates accordingly as I, you know, as my income expectations change. You know, because <laughs> I don't want to just you know settle on making just enough to you know just to function living in a one bedroom apartment in the Midwest. You know, I have other dreams beyond this apartment and. Uh, I want to get out there and, and do them, man. Like, you know, rewatching some of these old J vlogs and uh, some of my own, you know, Japan vlogs. Um, and just knowing what I know now versus back then, I just, I want to get out there and make more videos, especially in Japan, because I felt like, you know, even though on a personal level, especially, you know, being deployed in 7th Fleet out there, you know, it's a very stressful, dark period of my life, but, you know, creatively, um, I felt like I was really reaching new heights, and it felt like, you know, every day or every weekend I could go out and do something new, and, you know, of course that's the honeymoon period, and, you know, once you've been in Japan long enough, that start, starts to wear off, but, you know, being a YouTuber, you know, trying to think of stuff 
to put out there video wise you know you're kind of kept in the honeymoon period a little bit longer um <clears throat> and i just felt like you know my time there was cut too short you know i felt like i had a lot more to offer um from a creative standpoint from a video making standpoint and stuff like that and uh i just want to do more you know see more places meet more people that's a big thing for me meeting more people because like out here in the midwest you know especially when i was living out here before the navy um you know social media was around but it wasn't nearly as prolific as it is now so like walking around with a friggin uh you know a camera because you didn't have cell phones with decent enough cameras back then uh, you didn't have the selfie sticks and drones and all this kind of fun whiz bang stuff that you got now um, but, you know, that kind of stuff wasn't as prolific, so you're just seen as, like, a fucking weirdo with a camera. Like, what are you doing, you know, sneaking in other people's houses? You filming a porno? What you doing? And, uh, you know, later on it became a bit more mainstream to do, so, like, coming back now, it's still a little embarrassing to go out and do vlogs, but now, you know, it's less about, you know, what are you doing peeping in other people's houses? You know, it's more like, Yo, can I be the vlog, man? Well, you know, what's your social media? I ain't got one, man. And, you know, stuff like that. I'm eh, trying to wipe off the screen here. Eh, fucking, whatever. <laughs> trying to get rid of them comments. So I can see everything in the picture and stuff. Okay, there they go. Alright, but, um. Uh, in any event, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. Um, so that's basically what's going on with me. Just feeling really burnt out at the moment. Um, really sick, if you can tell from my voice. Um, hopefully I'll get better uh, in the next couple days. You know, I'm, usu I'm usually not very, I'm, not, I'm usually not sick for very long. It just kind of, you know, either lingers a little bit where I'm a little stuffed up. And then just kind of goes away or I have like a really, you know, a sick day where I'm just feeling like complete and utter dog shit. And I just got to like sleep it off for a day, uh, whatever the case may be. But, uh, you know, <laughs> so I just got to, you know, go through with it and uh, stuff like that. So, um, you know, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there, but you know, basically that's kind of what I've been going through. Um, hopefully I'll make this a bit more concise uh, once I do my February 2018 update video. And, you know, hopefully I won't be as sick, so I'll sound a little bit better. Um, but for now, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to this live stream. If you're watching the post stream, it's totally fine. That's kind of what this was made to be, just something that I don't have to sit down and edit because uh, I just wanted to get it out there. For you guys um so thanks for tuning in uh and uh that said this is the andy sound sign for now as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye